Putting pressure on the governor and politicians to fix the roads today in Lansing, business leaders united with one message, fix the roads and put a plan in place now. Yeah, tonight, you will hear their frustration and see how the governor is responding. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live, and Hank, everybody agrees uh, the roads are definitely a problem. Yeah, Kimberly Devon, I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. I'm sure everybody's frustrated about the state of our roads right now. You hop on I-75, the service ramp here, you're bound to see a crater or two. And now these local business leaders getting together, telling lawmakers in Lansing, get it done. The pothole problem isn't new, but these business leaders representing Detroit, Grand Rapids, Lansing, they want lawmakers to do something, and soon. As long as there's a plan that uh, raises two to two and a half billion dollars to fix our roads, I don't, I don't care how it's released uh, publicly uh, in the meantime. Let's just get the problem fixed. Our friends here today share a sense of both optimism and urgency. We need to get this done. Most agree the roads need about two billion. The question, how to get the money. The governor has proposed a gas tax, but some lawmakers have told me no way. Hank. Why would I vote for a tax increase and a registration increase when I didn't vote the first time for it? I'm a no all the way. When I met with the governor earlier this year, she said she's open to ideas, but they need to generate big money. If there is a superior plan out there, I'd love to see it. And I'm open to having that conversation if someone's got a better way of fixing this problem. The hope now that lawmakers will finally get a deal done this fall. If they don't, we'll all continue to suffer. It's getting a little dangerous because people are swerving to avoid them and they're not paying attention who's next to them. Back out here live, we did reach out to the governor's team today in regards to the comments from these business leaders. The statement we received in part reads, it has been 168 days since Governor Whitmer introduced her 2020 budget and 168 days without a comprehensive solution from the legislature. Doing nothing is not an option. Democrats, Republicans making their way back to work very soon. And of course, everybody is hoping they're able to come together and work out some sort of a deal. We're live here tonight, downtown Hank Winchester, back to you. Well, Hank, what kind of sense are we getting about the willingness of the governor to budge from that 45 cent gas tax increase? Yeah, and Devin, I don't think she's so much fixated on it being a gas tax, uh, much more that she's focused on at least $2 billion. On so total, I think she's yeah. willing to negotiate a little bit, but she wants to make sure she hits that dollar amount. Yeah. Back to you.